Welcome to my workshop. Here we are today at the start of spring and naturally our thoughts turn to the summer and how lovely it's going to be in the garden this year. Now something I've always wanted is a fire basket to have in the gardens. Somewhere you can sit around at night and just sort of warm your feet up and you know, toast your hands and perhaps the odd marshmallow or two. It would be quite easy to make a basket and stick some logs in it and we'll call that a fire basket. And that's what a lot of people will probably do. But I'm looking for something that's a little bit more efficient. What I'm looking is for something that can store some heat, a bit like a radiator, but without using water. Something that I can leave outside in the garden all the year round and just use it when I want to use it. Now I could use the forge and blacksmith something quite fancy. But there seems no point because most people don't have blacksmith forges in their back gardens. So instead for this one, I'm just going to keep it simple. So all you need is some 30 millimeter by 30 meter angle iron, and that's the three millimeter wall. I've got some 25 millimeter by six flat. I've got quite a lot of this weld mesh. This was left over, well this was left by the previous owner of the house and they had a dog kennel in the back garden. Um, we don't have a dog, I have no use for a dog kennel. So I've taken it apart and I'm going to use this weld mesh as part of this project. Now the one skill you will need, apart from knowing how to cut straight, is knowing how to weld. This is not a welding video, I can't claim to be some super fancy clever welder, um, but I know enough to get by and I can do it my way. What I'm really going to be showing you is the design and how it all fits together and how we keep the heat in the basket. So I've cut four pieces of angle iron at 500 mil long, four, four pieces of angle iron at 328 millimeters and four pieces of the flat at 328 millimeters. And I'm going to quickly weld that lot together in order to make a box. Well as you can see I've welded the first flat piece in across the top and now I'm putting one of the angle iron pieces in and this needs to be 283 millimetres from top to bottom. So here we are. That's the first frame made. We just need to make another one like that to go here and then we'll join the pieces together. And that's the basis of our fire basket. Now as you can see we've now finished the frame and I've also cut seven pieces of our 25 millimeter thick flat steel. Each one of these is 378 millimeters long and they just rest in there. You could weld them in if you want. So I'm just going to clean up the top and a few of the welds um, and then we'll quickly get some paint on this just to protect it from the elements. Now for the next part I had a load of this weld mesh left over from what used to be a, a dog kennel in my garden. So the trendy term is now to repurpose it. I'm not recycling, I'm repurposing. So I've cut pieces, four pieces that will sit, that will fit into the faces of our fire basket. These are our bits of steel that we're going to go on the bottom. And I've also cut this piece here, which is a long thin piece. And I'm now going to bend this into a square. So I'm just going to put it on the edge of the bench, count about one, two, three, four, five. So I want to bend it there. So our last job before we assemble everything is I should quickly spray some paint over that just to protect it and then we're ready to put the whole thing together. Now we can see the finished article. So what we've got is a nice cage with steel mesh on the sides. We've got our steel mesh box in the middle and in between the two I've put a nice load of Scottish pebbles. The idea being is we now light the fire in the centre here not only do we get the benefit of the fire, but also the fire will then heat the pebbles and the pebbles will then retain some heat, so we'll get a heat radiator as well. 
Sounds like a splendid idea, doesn't it? Well, I have to say this is one of the most pleasant afternoons I've spent in quite a long time. This has been on for about half an hour now. The stones have had a chance to really heat up and they really are radiating quite a lot of heat. It's quite impressive. I rather like this. Well, I think I'm going to be here for the rest of the day. So thank you very much for watching the video. Hopefully you liked it. If you do, have a look at some of the other ones on my channel. You never know, you might like one of those as well. You can always sign up for the blog, which is tomgreencraft.com. Or you can look for us on Facebook. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.